In this video, we're going to be discussing why you need a wave maker in your cichlid tank. We're going to talk about what a wave maker is, what it does, the key benefits for one, the positioning in the tank itself, how to identify if you have too much flow in your aquarium, and lastly, a few brands that we would recommend. So let's dive right in. First, what is a wave maker? Well, they're pretty simple. Usually they will look like this. And they're basically an underwater fan that blows water from one direction to the other. They're usually attached to the side panel of the tank and they'll push water in whatever direction you need. You could go with one of your smaller wave makers or a big guy here depending on the size of your tank and your needs. And one quick note before we get into it is that I'm primarily talking about cichlid tanks. There are a lot of other aquarium setups that may not use a wave maker or prefer that type of flow. For instance, saltwater tanks, they might have a ton of flow because the corals need it, whereas a planted community tank with some smaller tropical fish may not prefer as much flow as some of these cichlids. But just keep that in mind and let's get into the key benefits. The first key benefit of a wave maker is that it can oxygenate your tank if you angle it in the right way where it's creating surface agitation in your tank, it can oxygenate your water and reduce any need for an air stone or bubbler in your tank. So for me, it's just a personal opinion that I don't love seeing bubbles in my aquarium. It doesn't look natural and it kind of takes away from the aesthetic of the tank. The wave maker can be hidden, but also do the same job as an air stone and even do it better. And when you have an air stone or bubbler, it's not the air bubbles themselves that is oxygenating your tank. It's when the bubbles raise to the surface and pop, creating that surface agitation for the gas exchange. That is when the oxygenation happens. So the same thing happens if you're just using a wave maker to create that surface agitation, reducing the need for that bubbler and also providing a few other benefits in the tank. The second key benefit is that it can mimic the cichlid's natural environment, especially when it comes to your African cichlids from Lake Malawi, your haps, peacocks, and Mbuna. They really seem to like that extra flow because it mimics their natural environment. They seem to really like swimming in that extra current in the tank. It can also reduce aggression in those cichlid tank setups if they are swimming in that current or just a little more relaxed because it's more natural to them. In my peacock cichlid tank, I didn't have a wave maker for a bit and the cichlids were definitely a little on edge. As soon as I added a wave maker to that tank, the fish became much more docile, swimming in that current occasionally and diffusing that aggression at times, which was really needed in that tank at the time. And then the last main benefit and maybe my favorite is that it keeps circulation moving in your tank so that no debris is accumulating in your tank on the sand or substrate straight and that you don't have any dead spots in your tank. This will really help your filtration, improving your filter's efficiency as the extra circulation in the tank will kick up that debris off of your substrate and move it towards the intakes of your filters. Again, using my Peacock Cichlid tank as an example, there used to be a spot in the middle of the tank where a lot of the debris and waste would accumulate. As soon as I added that wave maker to the right side of the tank and angled it upwards to the surface, it created that circulation in the tank and now there's hard any debris and I barely have to gravel back in this tank. So in that peacock cichlid tank all those key benefits have already worked. It's providing that extra oxygen in the tank by creating surface agitation. It's mimicking their natural environment, reducing some aggression in the tank, and lastly it's keeping the debris off of the sand, making the filtration that much better. So a question we get asked a lot is where to put the wave maker in your aquarium? Well, it really depends on where your current filtration is and where the outtakes are currently pointed. Using my 180 gallon aquarium here as an example, I put the wave maker on the top left of the tank, angling it upwards of course to create that surface agitation, but it's also pushing water the same direction as my Ciche whale canister is pushing water out of the outtake. That water is moving to the upper right side of my aquarium. My canister filter on the other side is pushing mostly straight up, but a little bit to the right as well, so that the circulation is continuing to move from left to right across the top of the tank then down and to the left. That general flow creates a constant circulation in the tank where no debris is collecting on the sand. It's always being kicked up and put into the intakes of my canister filters and that is a primary reason my sand is so spotless. The other reason is I do have a lot of geophagus cichlids that sift through the sand and kick up debris as well. But in my other tanks without the geophagus, the wave makers do just as good of a job of keeping that debris off of the substrate. So that's if you have one wave maker, what if you have two? 
Well, for the second one, I would recommend either putting it directly in the middle of the tank, angled upward again, and pushing it in the same direction. That would be good if you have a long tank. Or I would recommend putting that second wave maker on the opposite end of the tank, angling it slightly downwards towards the substrate so that you're keeping that circulation moving in the same direction. I normally wouldn't put it too close to the substrate or angle it down too much because you don't want to kick up your sand. But as long as you're not moving the sand out of the way constantly, I think it's really good circulation in cichlid tanks to have one weight maker pointed upwards across the tank at the top and the other to be angled slightly towards the bottom, pushing back towards the other side of the tank. So the other question you may have is how do you know if you have too much flow in your tank? Well, for African cichlids, as I mentioned, it's really difficult to have too much flow in my opinion, but with some of your American cichlids, they may not love that flow quite as much. First thing I would do is just the eye test. Are your fish swimming normally? Are they being blown around the tank? And if so, you probably have too much flow in your tank and I would recommend either a smaller wave maker, angling your current wave maker upwards more, or turning down your current wave maker if you have that function. The other great tell if you have too much flow in your tank is if one side of your aquarium has all the sand and stub straight constantly being blown around. If you have a big bare spot in the corner or side of your tank, and that's likely because of the flow pushing too hard, I would recommend either repositioning your current wave maker or dialing it back just a bit. But as you can see in my 180 gallon aquarium, I have a pretty strong wave maker and all these South American cichlids seem to be calmly swimming through the tank. They're not being pushed around and they don't seem agitated at all. So to me, that shows that there's not too much flow in this tank. So lastly, just a couple notes on the wave maker and brands that we prefer. There are a lot of great options if you just go to Amazon and search wave maker. Most of those will do just fine. We really like Ciche because the pumps are very reliable and there's a five year warranty. For my 40 gallon breeder, I have the Voyager Nano, which provides just a very gentle circulation in the tank, which is better than nothing, but not blowing around the Tetras or smaller cichlids. But one of my favorite wave makers is the Ciche Extreme SDC. I have one on my 150 gallon tank. We have a few throughout some of our tanks between my brothers and Billy Donovan's aquarium. But what's really cool about this wave maker is you can control it via app and you can control the strength either going up or down to make sure you have the ideal flow in your tank. It also has a cool function of showing the temperature in your tank via the app. I'll leave links in the description below if you're interested in the specific wave makers that we use throughout our tanks. But like I said, there are many options out there. It's really just what's right for you and your tank. And as a last note, just wanted to reiterate that you should just do your research on the type of fish that you're using, if they like flow or not. Most cichlids, I would lean towards yes. Other tropical fish or goldfish may not love that extra flow, so just make sure you do your research on that. But I hope you found that information helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Happy to help. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.